Last week we visited the beautiful charming island of Hauki before setting off to Rodos and once again getting a nice surprise on our journey. We explored the island and enjoyed some summer weather. This week we set off on a longer passage to Crete, the largest of the Greek islands, but we don't quite make it there in one go. We get stuck in some pretty heavy swell. Stay tuned. I'm Janae and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Hello, hello. We've been in roads for a few days now. Um, we haven't moved the boat from Lindos, uh, but we went into town and we're just kind of waiting for some good weather to make our way towards Crete. So it's been a little bit windy, but look at the water, it's insane. We seriously just want to jump in, but it's like, it's getting warm. You can sit on the beach if it's calm. Um, but yeah, the water's pretty cold, so you probably could only really jump in and kind of jump back out. But yeah, it's stunning here. Nice little beach and little town over there. It's beautiful. So yeah, we're just kind of hanging out at the moment. Um, Jason's getting in to finish the hull. And it's pretty damn cold, like I said before. So um, we came up with the idea like a few times ago to put hot water bottles <laughs> inside, but I think it's a little bit. Do you want me to put a little bit of cold water in there? Just a tiny bit. I think it'll be good once I'm down there. Yeah, it'll cool it off pretty quickly. So yeah, he's gonna try and finish the hull today. He's probably got like four hours to go, five hours. Yeah, it's it's filthy. We should have stayed in Fedia that long because the water there's dirty hours. Anyway, good luck. just got out of bed 10 seconds ago so I probably look really tired let's go look at this Still got this one on. So just getting ready to leave and then we'll start the sailing, get a move on. See how we go this morning. It sounds like it's calmed down a little bit, the wind, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, I guess we'll see if we do the full sail all day and all night or if we stop on the way. We'll keep you guys updated anyway. <sighs> But first, breakfast and clean up in here. So today's the day we are going to do our first overnight passage. We've got, we're in Lindos right now in Rhodes and we've got some northerlies to push us to hopefully Crete. We're going to go up the top of Kapathos and then hopefully it should be on the, on the beam down, a little bit downwind from there. Um, we've never done one before so I think we're both pretty excited and nervous. 
Um, but yeah, should be good. It's a beautiful place here. We we were so protected from the northerlies because um, we tied stern two behind these rocks here, and the wind kind of tunneled through this way. So we were okay, but these poor boats over here were just getting absolutely slammed last night. Um, but yeah, we've got to get out of here. We've got a strong southerly coming through, which comes straight through here. So be very uncomfortable um, and it says it's blowing 50 knots so yeah we gotta go <laughs> and uh, we want to make our way to Crete anyway so it's perfect timing hopefully but um, if it is too strong I think we'll we'll either go to Kapathos or the edge of roads we'll see how we go we've got about it says it's about 15 to 20 knots out there and then once once we get to the edge of roads it's about 20 to 30 so so yeah we'll we'll play it by ear we're going seven and a half knots speed over ground at the moment i think we've gotten up to about eight and we've got the head sail fully reefed in and a second reef on the main. <laughs> and every now and then we do lean over quite a bit, so we're thinking maybe of putting uh, another reef in the main. Um, yeah, just to be safe. Yeah. It's still we're a little bit. Passage, so yeah, we don't want to like beat the shit out of ourselves. <laughs> we're going good speed, so I'm sure if we put the. Yeah. In, it'll be fine. We'd rather go like a tiny bit slower and not and feel like we've got control and not be like scared, so. Um, yeah. Flying! This keeps pushing us into the wind. I'm scared I'm going to go into the rock. Yeah. What's that island over there? That's the Aggie, uh, the Kapasa or whatever. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you so didn't even see it. So I said visibility is really good. Yeah, or oh, it's starting to get splash up there. And it's going to get real windy in a sec, so. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to see it, which it's kind of, it's nice to see it actually. Always gives me comfort seeing some land. Remember you got your fishing rod out too. I'm having to catch a fish now. Catch a fish, you're just gonna have to leave it. Or we'll have to turn it to the wind and go out that way. Oh! Yeah, do you want to reef that? I think we should. completely in. We're going to sail with the reef in the main and see how that goes. Probably because our boat knots aren't either, so I think it's actually stronger than what it's saying. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, 
Till, yeah, we get to the point of uh, Kapathos. Yes, and then um, it should be on our arse end. Slot, not perfectly arse end, but 120. Woo! <laughs> 100. So it'll feel a lot nicer than this. Yeah, you can hear it like howling right now. I'm probably going to touch the sail up a little bit, that's why. Well, that's the closest we've come to a ship since our whole situation when we first started. Now we try and stay well away from them. We got another one on our front. Yeah, there's another one up there, but we've been watching it for a while. Should be fine. But now we know to just give way to them, stay well away. Not that this is that far away, but we knew he was gonna pass. He didn't really even have to pass across the front of us. He was kind of already like on the side, so. Oh, my oh. honey. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Big wave just came and splashed the shit out of Jason and he tried, <laughs> tried to avoid it. <laughs> and he just came straight off. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I can't help it. I feel bad, but I can't help it. When... <laughs> I don't know what it is about people slipping over, it just looks funny. <laughs> We're both tucking in behind the bimney cover because it's splashing everywhere. Yeah, yeah Jason's getting slammed. You feel like nice there. I know. So much better. You can see how wet the bimney is. Oh, you probably can't on camera. We're about two and a half hours out from the tip of Kapathos now, so we'll see how we go when we turn the corner. Had to watch out for quite a few um, shipping container ships, which is like the most we've ever seen on any passage, so... It's good practice. How are you feeling, hon? Good. Can't wait to turn this corner. Yeah, same. It's getting super uncomfortable out here now. Yeah, it's full on. We're like honestly getting slammed and we've had a few... Like niggling noises. Yeah, we've had a few like waves like swell hit the boat but it sounded like a bit odd so we're starting to get a little bit worried but we have to get around this corner um and then hopefully it should settle down but we may end up just stopping on this island for the night because we're just like exhausted like jason is soaked um and i'm kind of getting a little bit scared now it's just getting a bit full on like it's getting more full on as we go I think it's because we're getting close to this island, so the swell is kind of building up. Yep, creaking noises. Whew, all sorts, anyway. Fingers crossed, we only have like 20 more minutes. Feels like probably, it looks like a bit longer than that. 
Oh my god, that's like big fun. Like that's not one and a half meters, that's bigger. When you look at it that way, like once it goes past us, it's full on. The sea state's just like, just messy and choppy and it's very, it's quite windy. We have like pretty much a constant 23 to 25 knots. Um, so basically what they forecast as the gusts, we're just having that constantly. So anyway, hopefully not too much longer. Here is the tip of Kapathos. So we're starting to come around the top now. Just gotta to get to that little corner there and then we can turn. Thank God. You're doing so well, honey. Watch out. of what we would go to go the whole way to Crete and we were just getting like rolled sideways so there's no way I'm dealing with that all night no thank you so we've got like an hour and a half till we get to the anchorage in Kapathos so hopefully it's nice and protected because it's pretty full on right now so yeah we'll show you when we get there fingers crossed forgotten pretty quickly though isn't it once you get to like somewhere calm and you stop like it doesn't take long to be like oh I'm fine now yeah. <laughs> I hope the wind doesn't wrap around here yeah seems to be coming through um, that area there where it kind of dips in I reckon my ears like burning when the weather gets rough, unfortunately, you can't always just cut your trip short and turn into an anchorage and give up for the day. Like today, when it started to get full on, it was kind of too late to turn around and go back. We would have just endured the same weather getting back to Rhodes. 
and because we were halfway, we still had to deal with it for five hours either way. You just have to deal with it as best you can until you can turn into a safe anchorage. Luckily, the bad days are soon forgotten when the beautiful days arise. We hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. Give us a like and comment, and if you're not subscribed, we'd love if you do that too.